it's not the Terminator just yet. But here, the NATO Enhanced Logistics Base in central Norway, they're trying to use new high-tech hardware to solve the age-old problems of protecting soldiers and keeping them supplied. What we've tried to do is bring together existing technologies and logistics and force protection into one space in a more realistic environment so that we can then understand how autonomy and 3D printing will affect how we do warfare in the future. 3D printing will mean that a broken down military vehicle needing a spare part does not have to wait until one arrives from a distant supply depot, but can be immediately made on location. All these technologies on display are about doing more with less, seeing further, detecting threats, having multiple ways of spotting one's enemy before they spot you. We've heard a lot here about things like data fusion and integrated sensors, but this is the Black Hornet, one of the smaller UAVs in the world. It's a flight time of 20 minutes and can see in the dark. These products and their buzzwords sound impressive, but they're very much works in progress. I think that we have some incredible systems. However, the integration of them is something that we're still pulling together. These systems may be in their first stages of development, but some here believe they could change the way wars of the future are fought. Alex Katopoulos, Al Jazeera, Trondheim, Norway.